Semi-Slav Defense, Antimarin Gambit, 5, H66.BXF6QXF6. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The move d5 establishes control over the e4 square, frees up the light squared bishop, and builds a presence in the center. A wing pawn is available in the queen's gambit to attack the center and divert black's attention away from the e4 square. The d5 pawn is supported by c6 in the slob defense. The d4 pawn is safeguarded and under control thanks to nf3. nf6 controls the e4 square, advances the knight toward the center, and strengthens the d5 pawn. nc3 attacks the d5 square and starts to fight for the e4 square. The d5 pawn is supported by e6 and the bishop on the dark squares can advance. bg5 ignores the attack on the c4 pawn and develops the bishop, pinning the knight on f6. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is a fair deal after all captures. Backs off. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is the final book action. Therefore, a knight is attached to the king. That's good. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. Castling develops a rook while moving the king to a safer position beyond the board's center. Castling to the same side of the board as your adversary helps you escape some of the attacking that comes with castling to the other side. It is ideal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. That's good. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. That's good. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. That's good. The knight is thus brought to safety. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This competes for the open file with the opposing rook. That's good. It's all right. That's good. A powerful play. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. That's good. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. 
This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. White is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. It's alright. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. This avoids the rook's check. It is quite good. This pins the other side's knight to the king, rendering it immobile. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This overlooks a more effective approach to sidestep the enemy rook's check. It is incorrect. As a result, the adversary can take an open file containing a rook. It is incorrect. A powerful play. It is quite good. The rook is now in a safe position. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to kick a rook. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This misses a chance to capture an open file with a rook. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.